My name is Andrew England and I am the program director for the Medical Laboratory Technician Program, um, which is an AAS associate degree at Tulsa Community College and I'm also the program director of the Phlebotomy Certificate Program. So medical laboratory technicians are um, trained to work in uh, clinical laboratories which are mostly located at hospitals and reference labs. Um, the majority of our students um, go work for the St. Francis uh, health system in Tulsa, the Hillcrest Health System, the St. John Ascension Health System. Uh, we also do Stillwater um, and some Indian Health Services out of Claremore and out of Tahlequah. Um, we're primarily running laboratory testing um, to determine uh, disease or disease states. Uh, so most people are working, it's, it's a little bit more of a behind the scenes clinical um, job but we're still helping patients and 80% and, uh, to 85% of diagnoses are based off of laboratory results so it's very important to have well trained individuals in the laboratory. So our program is somewhat unique in that we are um, what we uh, have titled a one plus one program and that is that the very first year um, or the first two years, however long it takes you, you are getting your prerequisite coursework done. Um, that includes your Comp 1, your Comp 2, History, Government, uh, Biology course, General Chemistry course, Anatomy and Phys, the combined course or the separate courses in Microbiology. Then you're actually applying for the second year and once you're accepted into the MLT program for the second year, then the program is just one year after that. Our overall GPA requirements are a 2.0, a science GPA of a 2.4. We do not have a standardized test. We don't require ACT. The majority of our ranking is based off of your, um, in order of importance, your science GPA, an interview that has a writing portion, and then your overall GPA. We are accredited by um, NACLS, which is the, um, National Accrediting Agency for Clinical Laboratory Science. Um, we are reviewed on three major criteria. That is graduation rate, uh, ASCP board pass rate, and job placement rate. Um, currently, our graduation rate sits at about a three-year level of about 90%. Our board pass rate is at a three-year level of about 98%. And our job placement rate for the last three years is 100%. Um, the job market right now is really strong. Um, there is about 1.5 jobs for every um, MLT student that's graduating on the conservative side. Once you um, graduate our program, you're automatically qualified to sit for the American Society for Clinical Pathology board exam, uh, which is a nas nationally recognized certification. It's not a state licensure, meaning that it's transferable to all 50 states. Uh, there are opportunities to go on to get a four-year certification, uh, which is the medical laboratory science, um, through ASCP um, and then there's even opportunities to get categoricals or specialties in certain areas in which each one of those will bring a substantial raise in pay. The uh, entry level pay um, is difficult because it's based off of hospitals. Most of ours start in at about $35,000 a year. Um, that is first shift base pay. If you have an advanced degree that pay will generally go up. For more information um, I would recommend that you go to our MLT uh, webpage at Tulsa Community College. Um, it has lots of good information. We have a good question and answer. It has the curriculum. It has all of our pass rates, which we are required by accreditation to post. Um, and so it has uh, the information for the program, but it also has my contact information on there. Uh, my email address, andrew.england at tulsacc.edu. And then my phone extension, which is 918-595-8667.